Mars, the red planet, has long held a special place in our imaginations. Its mysteries drawing us in and sparking countless tales of alien civilizations. This celestial body, visible to the naked eye, has been the muse of mankind since ancient times. Its enigmatic presence led to many tales, speculations and even scientific inquiries. The allure of Mars is not merely its crimson hue, but the possibility of life beyond our own world. The concept of intelligent life on Mars has been a subject of fascination, a perennial quest that has shaped our understanding of the cosmos. It has spurred us to ask questions, to explore and to dream. Today we delve into the hypothetical history of intelligent life on Mars. From early observations to modern scientific endeavors, the journey of exploring Mars has been a tale of mystery, hope and fascination. Our curiosity about Mars and its potential inhabitants began to take shape in the late 19th century. It was during this time that Italian astronomer Giovanni Schiaparelli peered through his telescope and observed what he termed as canali on the surface of Mars. The term canali in Italian simply translates to channels. However, a mistranslation into English as canals sparked a wildfire of speculation and debate. The idea that these canals could be the work of intelligent beings capable of constructing such intricate structures fascinated the public. This was a time when the construction of the Suez Canal was still fresh in the minds of people, a testament to human engineering prowess. The thought that similar feats could be achieved on a distant planet by a civilization unknown was nothing short of exhilarating. Adding fuel to this speculative fire was American astronomer Percival Lowell. Lowell was not just an observer, but a passionate advocate for the existence of intelligent life on Mars. In his book, Mars as the Abode of Life, he proposed that these Martian canals were not mere geographical features, but vast irrigation systems. According to Lowell, these were constructed by Martians to transport water from the ice-capped poles to the arid equatorial regions. Lowell painted a picture of a dying Martian civilization, desperately engineering solutions to a planetary crisis. He spoke of a world running out of water, with its inhabitants fighting against the odds to survive. This concept, this vision of a civilization on the brink of extinction, battling against their planet's harsh conditions resonated deeply with the public. The spectacle of an advanced Martian society capable of such grand-scale hydroengineering seized the imagination of people around the world. It was a story of survival, resilience and ingenuity that captured the hearts of many. The idea of a dying Martian civilization engineering solutions to a planetary crisis captured the public's imagination. As we stepped into the 20th century, the fascination with Mars and its potential inhabitants only grew. This was a time when the idea of intelligent Martians was not just a whisper in the scientific community, but a shout in popular culture. The Red Planet was no longer a distant astronomical body, but a living, breathing entity, home to potential extraterrestrial neighbors. One name stands out in particular when we think of Martian lore in the 20th century. H.G. Wells, a master spinner of tales who brought the Red Planet closer to our homes and hearts with his groundbreaking novel, the War of the Worlds. The story, a chilling account of Martians invading Earth, was a stark departure from the romantic notions of a dying civilization. Instead, it depicted Martians as technologically superior beings capable of launching an invasion against Earth, instilling a sense of trepidation and awe in readers worldwide. This tale was not confined to the realm of books. In 1938, Orson Welles adapted The War of the Worlds into a radio drama. The broadcast, designed to sound like a news bulletin, caused widespread panic among listeners who believed it to be a real alien invasion. This incident, now etched in the annals of pop culture history, was a testament to the power of the Martian mythos. The Martian narrative continued to evolve and thrive, with Martians featuring in comic books, television shows and movies. From being the invaders in The War of the Worlds to the friendly Martian in My Favourite Martian, the depiction of Martians reflected our changing perceptions and understanding of the Red Planet. The Martian tale was not just a product of our collective imagination, but also a mirror reflecting our hopes, fears and aspirations. The Martians, whether as invaders or neighbours, served as a metaphor for the unknown, the other the stranger. They embodied our fears of the unknown, our curiosity about life beyond Earth and our innate desire to connect. 
the power of the Martian law had firmly taken root in the public's imagination. The intriguing red planet had become a symbol of mystery, adventure and the eternal human quest to reach out and understand the cosmos. Despite the rich tapestry of stories and theories, scientific missions to Mars have painted a different picture. The Mariner and Viking missions of the 1960s and 70s respectively ventured into the unknown, aiming to unlock the secrets of the Red Planet. They beamed back images and data that for the first time offered a detailed look at Mars' surface. What they found was a stark contrast to the fertile, canal-laced landscape that Schiaparelli, Lowell and many others had envisioned. Instead, they revealed a barren, cratered landscape, a world seemingly devoid of life as we know it. The canals, once thought to be the work of intelligent beings, were nothing more than optical illusions, the result of viewing the planet from a great distance. The initial findings were a blow to those who had hoped to find signs of intelligent life. The Martian civilization, once vivid in the minds of many, seemed to evaporate, replaced by a harsh and desolate reality. The red planet, it appeared, was not a bustling hub of alien activity, but a silent, lifeless world. Yet, despite this disappointment, the spirit of inquiry endured. Scientists, instead of being disheartened, were intrigued. They asked, if Mars is not home to intelligent life now, could it have been in the past? Could it be again in the future? The barren Martian landscape, rather than being a letdown, became a new kind of mystery to be unraveled. The missions to Mars, though they did not find the anticipated Martian metropolis, nevertheless made a profound impact. They expanded our understanding of our neighboring planet and the conditions necessary for life to flourish. And they reminded us that often reality is more fascinating, more complex and more mysterious than any fiction we can conjure. The barren Martian landscape may not have matched our fantasies, but it did not dampen our curiosity. Indeed, it fueled it, driving us to continue our exploration, to ask more questions and to seek the answers in the stars. Let's indulge in the hypothetical and imagine a time when intelligent life thrived on Mars. Picture a civilization mastering hydroengineering, creating an intricate network of waterways to sustain life in a world where water was scarce. This civilization, acutely aware of their planet's fragile ecosystem, might have developed advanced technology to harness and conserve their dwindling water resources. Consider a societal structure heavily influenced by the preciousness of water. Imagine a culture that revered water as the source of life, with rituals, customs and laws centered around its preservation. The Martian cities might have been planned around these waterways, with the most powerful and influential individuals or groups controlling the water sources. In this society, scientific advancements would likely have been directed towards ecological sustainability and resource management, making them experts in fields we are only beginning to explore. In this imagined past, Mars was a world teeming with intelligent life, a stark contrast to the barren landscape we see today. Today, the dream of finding intelligent Martians may remain in the realm of science fiction, but our curiosity about Mars is very real. We continue to send rovers like Curiosity to investigate the Martian surface, seeking signs of past microbial life. Each discovery, each answered question, only serves to deepen the mystery and the fascination. This ongoing quest is the legacy of our collective imagination, of centuries of speculation and hope. It's a testament to our insatiable desire to understand our universe, to reach out and make contact with the unknown.